coming up on this evening's programme. Scared to go to school, hundreds of parents say they're worried about their children after an academy trust introduced new behavioural rules. Now we've got children that are really distressed at school, really, really distressed and really don't want to go. And they're just saying how unhappy it is, how strict it is, and they're frightened. But the Trust claims their policy is improving behaviour. We'll hear from some of the children. Also tonight... I can actually smell and taste freedom. As he bids to be freed from a Milton Keynes jail, a psychologist tells a parole board Charles Bronson has post-traumatic stress disorder. On International Women's Day, the ladies protesting by Parliament after changes to their state pension age. And mum's the word. We meet the mother and daughter duos, all working alongside each other at one of our hospitals. Hello from David and from me. Welcome to the programme. First tonight, hundreds of parents at a Cambridgeshire school say some children are scared to go to class because of what they have called draconian rules. The Astrea Academy Trust, which took over St Ivo, based in St Ives, says its disciplinary policy is improving behaviour. But pupils say even small mistakes, like a pen running out, can land them in detention. Well, parents have described the pressure on pupils as unbearable. Matthew Hudson has this report. Another day of learning over, and these friends are grateful for that. They say the draconian new regime at St Ivo Academy, with punishments for breaches of myriad new rules, is creating a climate of fear, ruining their school days. I always feel really nervous, like, because I'm trying not to break any of the rules, because they just, they're handing out detentions, like it's nothing. Because pupils are just so unhappy at school, they're really not going to have motivation and confidence to do well in their lessons. It feels like every single time that you come back, there's just more and more rules piled onto you, and it kind of feels like you're just going to forget all of them and just get in trouble for something. Even if your pen runs out, uh, you can get detention. Even if you have proof, you bring the pen, show it's not working, you can get detention. The IVO, as it's known, is one of 26 schools run by the Astria Academy Trust. Its last Ofsted report said it required improvement for standards of behaviour. The Trust told ITV Anglia, getting the culture right in schools is critically important, which is why we have introduced new routines and policies that help us create a calm, safe and purposeful environment where all our students can learn and all our teachers can teach free from disruption. We are already seeing the impact of these changes, which includes a marked improvement in behaviour. But pupils told us about a ban on talking while walking between lessons, no questions allowed in class and even detentions for getting a question from the teacher wrong. This pupil asked to speak with us anonymously. From halfway through Saturday, I like feel quite like ill because of school. It's all of the rules and the way they treat us, like it's a um, well, almost like it's a prison, and that like we like we have to be silent in lessons. It's not a very nice atmosphere. Parents have come together in a forum demanding the school relaxes some of the regulations. They say they are harming rather than improving their children's education. Some believe some children are even frightened of their school. Now we've got children that are really distressed at school. Really, really distressed and really don't want to go. And when you're constantly living in a state of fear, which they are doing at school, you're not able to take it in. You're not able to um, process what, what you're learning because you're too busy wondering if the teacher's going to give you detention. The campaign has grown hugely in just a month. February the 8th is when we met. There was 100 of us at the Free Church in St Ives and we said, well, let's see how many other people feel the same. And we now stand at over 400 members and that's all parents expressing concern about the welfare and well-being of their children at the Ivo School. So it's not just a few discontented parents. Unions which represent teachers say implementing the tough new regime is having a negative impact on members, with staff leaving or calling in sick, causing a shortage of teachers. We all know that we learn best when we're feeling secure, confident, happy, looking forward to going to school. I'm getting teachers saying they no longer look forward to coming into work at the IVO, which was a place that they had dedicated their lives to. And clearly that's affecting the students as well. There's an old adage that your school days are the best days of your life. 
Many pupils and parents in St Ives say they currently hope that isn't true. Matthew Hudson, ITV News in St Ives. Some more of your day's news now. In a